Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I'm especially excited. We have Lori Morgan Ferrero, who's one of the legends of copywriting and direct response marketing. A little bit about Lori. She founded Red Hot Copy in 1999 and has become a world-renowned and award-winning copywriter. Lori's words have sold products in many industries, and she worked closely with big clients like Ali Brown, Mark Victor Hansen, who's co-author of Chicken Soup for the Soul series. She's worked with Agora Publishing, Glazer Kennedy Inner Circle, and I couldn't even include many, many more. This intro would go way too long. She educates entrepreneurs and copywriters how to shift from hype-filled sales copy to copy written with authenticity, trust, and rapport. I'm really excited to talk about this because you always have that debate of, is it too hype-filled? Is it not hype-filled enough? So I want to hear your opinions on that. And Lori has a popular course called the She Factor Copywriting Boot Camp that she will talk about and you should check out. Lori, thank you for joining me. Thanks, Jeremy. I'm so excited. I mean, even just our pre-interview banter, it, this is going to be so good. It's great. And... You know, Lori, since this is Inspired Insider, you know, I asked this question, you know, tell me about the lowest point in your life and business and then what you did and what you thought about to get through those tough times. Well, I'll tell you about a couple of them. Um, and this is where the woo-woo part's going <laughs> to kick in. Okay. All right. So uh, one of them was... I already actually kind of told you about the the uh, the health issue with the client. Right. That was a, that was a really low point for yeah. me. That sucked. Um, and then the other one was with a client that uh, we had a falling out. We had a disagreement. She didn't like the way um, my copy came out, and I'd been working with her for like six months, and she got really angry and wanted all of her money back from the past six months. Wow. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. But what happened was another marketer who had introduced us got involved in or tried to get involved in the middle and I ended up losing um, his friendship Ugh. because it, yeah, it was, it was really very painful and I was literally depressed about it for a year wow. and uh, it was like go to bed, like holding, I have a little blankie, I would like, I would wake up in the morning like going, oh, it's still here, this horrible, like, I felt very deceived. And it's still here, like every day. And it's and so how did I got through it? Was a lot of it was time, and and then a lot of it was sort of woo woo things like like like, um, like praying and I do things like um, I do tarot, <laughs> read tarot cards, and uh, crystals. I have all kinds of like crystal. You're very in touch with the woo woo. <laughs> I am. I really am. I'm very um, intuitive. Uh, I have. I, I don't really develop it. I'm certainly not like a psychic or anything, but I, I have intuitive. connections. I have, I have my woo-woo antenna on. But that was that was really how, like, saying affirmations and really focusing on the things that are good about me and that I that mm -hmm. I like instead of being so wounded. And um, that that was how I got through that one. So how are you? What kind of affirmations do you have? Um, I always like hearing if if you like, feel comfortable sharing I'm any of them. Um, I am loved. I am a, a great copywriter. I am confident. I am beautiful. I don't think that was one, but I'm just thinking, you know, positive things. Yeah. Um, um, just those, yeah. I had a whole list of them. I actually have somewhere, I have a little CD that plays... Uh, the the affirmations to me I, I don't know where it is <laughs> yeah because at the titans too I, I think it was gary benzavinga who was saying i don't remember if it was him but from an early time before like when he just started he would have that affirmation i think it was him i may be misquoting but i am a control beater like always thinking himself as the right. the top and that sounds like you know you yeah. basically say those things to yourself yeah and it really does shift your energy and shift your mood when you start thinking like, I mean, you think about like verbally abused women or, or kids or men, even for that matter, just like you suck, you're horrible. And you hear it enough and you and it starts playing a tape in your yeah. head. So why not make it a, a happy, uplifting tape? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because you say, yeah, time heals. But 
But the reality is people can stay depressed for a long time. I mean, they could stay depressed for years. So right. that's right. why I ask how you got through it because it doesn't always end after a year or, or however long. So you did some of those things to, to kind of to get through it. Right. And, and I'm a big believer in um, physical, like exercise, moving, and just, you know, the chemistry of your body changes when you, when you exercise and, you, yeah. you know, not to, you don't have to kill yourself, just walking or getting out and, and laughing. I love to dance. I'll, I'll even dance, you know, in my room. <laughs> and just movement, I think, is a huge thing. In fact, that's another tip for, for writing. Like if you get writer's block or you can't think of anything, just like get up and walk around and get into movement, into motion. Yeah, that is a this is a really tough point. I mean, did you have uh, people in your life that helped with it, or was it more internal stuff that that you just had to deal with? Oh, I did have people. Uh, my husband is is an amazing support for me, and he's he you know we we've had our ups and downs because of the you know the, the business ups and downs, and he he runs business a certain way, and I'm run it a different way. <laughs> so we'll butt heads, but he he uh, lifts me up, and he even when I don't feel so great myself, he'll tell me how amazing I am. And yeah. even still, we've been together. I've known him forever. I've known him since my son was eight months old, my youngest one. Wow. But we we didn't get married till 99, but he's been like my best friend. So he's he's been super helpful. Now my girlfriends, most of them, I have two sets of girlfriends. I have like the, the, um, the veterans, I guess, and the, and the ones who are in the business, yeah, and the civilians, if you will. Civilians. So the, the, the civilians have no clue what I do. I tried to explain it to them, but they they just don't get it. So I don't turn to them for that. But I I will talk to like I'll, I'll Ali Brown has been one of my my best friends and supporters. Of, of you know, we we talk about she's had some of those things happen too, and we'll talk about how. People can be so mean to each other, wound each other, and yeah. how we have to keep our head up and focus on the good. Yeah. So how do you, Lori? How do you avoid those things now? I mean, that was such a painful thing. Are there things that you do now because that you do because you want to avoid that same type of situation occurring, or is that just a weird outlier? No, no. It's it's. I think we get tested with that stuff all the time, and it, it was a huge growth spurt for me because I I don't. I just have firmer boundaries about things. I just don't put up with shit. <laughs> just, that's the way it is. And I was never, I was always a people pleaser. And that was one of my biggest um, Achilles heels. That was why I, that situation happened was because I was a people pleaser and I wanted everyone to like me. And it was, it, it was at my cost. Yeah. And when I realized that, then I just, it, it's a lot easier to stand up for yourself when you realize that you're, you're basically, if it's if it's not hell yes it's hell no <laughs> that's from it's a Esther what is it who are they Esther Hicks at Abraham Hicks quote if it's not hell yes it's hell no so it's if if I don't if I get a, a charge of something that this this might be too much then yeah. I'll say no more than I say yes I actually do say no more than I say yes no, I'm glad you said yes to this interview but I am too. <laughs> 